Hi, I'm Heather. Welcome to class. Today we're going to work on shoulder extension, which is the movement of the arm back. We're going to do a number of different variations and uh, work uh, deeper and deeper to explore how much range of movement do we have with the arms in this direction. Before we begin, if you find this video helpful, be sure to like and subscribe. We're going to work with the chair and a couple of bricks and we're going to just explore one shoulder moving at a time. So let's have the chair towards the back end of the mat and we can use these bricks as a platform to sit on depending on how mobile we feel in the shoulders. So if you're feeling reasonably supple in the shoulders, you may not need the height of the two bricks. Perhaps start with one brick and then maybe you can eliminate one brick. But let's start by taking one arm back. So I'm taking my left arm back, the hands reaching to the back of the seat of the chair. And commonly when we do this, the torso will want to go with the arm. So notice that there might be some uh, spinal twist happening. And let's reorient this left side of the chest forward towards the legs. So then rather than doing a spinal twist, I'm working and opening the shoulder. I've got the palm facing down. And then as I turn my left chest forward towards the legs, the shoulder tip will come forward, but I'm getting a, a stretch through the anterior deltoids and the bicep muscles. Let's swap arms. So we take the right arm back through to the back of the seat of the chair and you might go into a bit of a twist to get the arm there. But then see, can you turn your chest, turn that right side chest forward towards your legs and if it helps you can hold on to your legs you can push your hand your left hand against the outer left shin to help you level the chest to the legs and feel are you lifting the chest notice if there's tightness in this right shoulder you might be shrinking the chest to protect the shoulder from that stretch sensation do your best to lift the sternum as you're encouraging that opening through the anterior deltoids and the bicep muscles. Okay, let's release that right arm and we'll see if we can do both arms. So you could take one arm at a time or both hands, reach back and you'll note, yes, the chest may drop as you reach your arms back. But as soon as you've got your hands back on the seat, reassert the lift of the chest, sternum up, Collarbones up and broad, shoulder tips roll back and down. So the shoulder blades are moving down the back. And we want to be mindful, we're not pinching the shoulder blades dramatically in towards each other. That does tend to happen. See if you can create a little bit of space there between the shoulder blades as you maintain the lift of the chest. And then let's take the arms out from on the seat of the chair. And we're going to explore coming into that pose from sitting. So we've got our bricks here ready for the buttocks to descend to. We start on the seat of the chair, reach the hands to the back of the seat. And I've got my feet hip width apart for more stability there as I bring my hips forward off the chair, keep the arms straight, and I'll slowly descend the buttocks to the bricks. And I want to maintain the lift of the sternum, the action of the shoulder tips pressing back, shoulder blades drawing down. And then I'm going to release the arms from the seat. And I want to try again, but lowering the hips, which is going to exaggerate the stretch in the shoulders. So I move one brick out of the equation. I come to sit back onto the seat. Make sure our brick is in the right spot. Shoulders roll back. So I'm already starting with the chest lifted. And then I bring the hips forward and down to the brick. And I note, 
if there's restriction, I might want to be um, leaning the chest forward and down. So I want to reassert the lift of the sternum. Perhaps now we stretch the legs forward, but go on lifting the breastbone up. Shoulders roll back and down. And let's release. The arms can come forward and out of the chair. If you feel that you can go further, we go all the way to the floor. We can eliminate this brick. Sit back on your seat. You'll note I'm sitting well forward on the seat, so I've got room for the hands to reach to the back of the seat. Again, hip width feet, and then when we stretch the legs straight, we can bring the legs together. So we come forward, arms are staying straight, and down. As we come down, we might note that chest wants to dip down. Establish your seat, sit on the floor, and then perhaps you can stretch your legs forward and reassert the lift of the chest. Upper breastbone, lifting and spreading. Collarbones broad. Watch that you're not thrusting your head forward. See, can you draw your ears back so that the line of the neck and the head are as if you're just sitting in Dandasana, the staff pose. And then we can release the arms forward, bring the fingertips to the floor next to your hips, sit in Dandasana. Perhaps you can flatten the palms, roll the shoulders back and down. There is another way of working with a similar kind of mobility in the shoulders, and that is doing Uttanasana with the arms reaching over, whether to a wall or to the chair. I'm going to demonstrate with the chair, firstly reaching my hands over to the top of the chair, and then down the legs of the chair to the seat of the chair. And again, it depends on the mobility of your shoulders. But I'll work with a belt around the wrists, so that guides the arms. So the arms come behind you, you put your belt around the wrist, shoulder width, and then we come into Uttanasana. So the distance between you and the chair is something that you'll need to establish as you reach your arms over. You could start with the knees bent, come forward into Uttanasana, reach the arms overhead, and as you reach for your chair, perhaps you're already reaching the arms down the the hands down the arms of the chair. Perhaps you're just reaching to the top. Maybe even that's difficult. You need to go to the wall then, reach to the wall. But then you work to straighten the legs and perhaps you can walk the hands further down. And this is where you establish, well, do I need to step back? Do I need to step closer to the chair? Try not to do that while you're holding the chair. The chair will wobble around. So reaching the arms down, maybe you can feel the seat of the chair as you're folding down and let the neck be free. Go and gripping the kneecaps as you establish straight legs. So we've got a significant hip flexion as the arms are moving backwards behind the body. And then slowly come out of the pose, you let go of the grip of the chair, you can bend the knees as you lift the head up and Come to stand all the way up. Now for the purpose of demonstrating so that you can see perhaps from this camera angle, I'm going to do the same pose but this time with the fingers interlocked. Clearly then the wrists are narrower than the shoulder width so if you were struggling with the belt around the wrists perhaps stay with that. But if you feel that you can go further we'll work with fingers interlocked and we'll see if we can bring the forearms to the seat of the chair, if that's too low, to the top of the chair, or somewhere in between, you could put a bolster here on the seat. Again, let's establish our Uttanasana, fingers interlocked. So if you're happy enough, you can come into Uttanasana with the uh, knees straight. You just need to navigate the seat of the chair, move, move around that so you can descend, and then take the arms over, fingers are interlocked. Working the arms down towards the seat of the chair. 
Then I'm going to step back a little bit so that I can feel more the wrists on the seat, not so much the elbows. If your shoulders are willing, perhaps you can try and bring the heels of the hands together. That can make the stretch a little stronger on the anterior deltoids. And can you relax the neck? Get steady in your breath. And then slowly you can raise the head up, release the arms. Come to stand up. Take a breath or two and we'll swap the interlock of the fingers. Opposite interlock, pull the knuckles towards the floor, shoulder tips back, we'll come forward into Uttanasana. Again, whether you want to start with the knees bent, make sure you don't hit your head onto the seat of the chair. And then as you take your arms overhead, straighten the knees and work your arms towards the chair. Whether you're working with the hands reaching to the top of the chair, or whether you're working with the heels of the hands coming together, forearms, wrists towards the seat of the chair. And then to come out of the pose, raise the head up. And come to stand all the way up, relax your shoulders. Now you'll note, I've put a second mat down. I'm going to work again with the arms overhead, but this time in Prasarita Parottanasana, the spread foot intense stretch pose. So I wanna have the legs wide, feet parallel, and I'm gonna reach the arms over to the chair and potentially walk the hands down the legs of the chair towards the floor. So I'm gonna start with the fingers interlocked because that helps keep the hands together. And as we exhale, we hinge forward at the hips, reach the arms to the chair, make sure you can locate the chair. And then whether you're holding on to the seat of the chair or then you start to walk your hands down the legs of the chair towards the floor. The chair will want to move with your arms. So we've got to establish what's up and what's down. Try to keep your chair anchored. Descend the head, strong flexion in the hips, strong action in the legs, keep the kneecaps gripped. And make sure you're breathing smoothly as you walk the hands further and further down. Keep the facial muscles relaxed. And then you can release the grip of the chair. Let's press the hands into the floor. Lengthen the chest forward. And then hands to the waist. Stand up as you inhale. Step the legs in. That's it for today. Thanks for joining me. For more in-depth teaching, check out the video library on my website heatherkitchenyoga.com.au The link is in the description box below.